Hi, I'm Tudor Davies, Director of Technology at Spectrum Signal Processing by Vesima. Today we'd like to demonstrate the frequency hopping capability of Spectrum's RF4902 RF to digital transceiver board. It provides simultaneous transmit and receive capability in full duplex with frequency hopping at up to 3,000 hops per second with a dwell to tune time ratio of over 10 to 1. This board is ideal for many SIGINT, COMINT, and MILCOM applications. The system we'll be showing you today consists of Spectrum's RF4902 RF to digital board and Spectrum's Pro4600 digital baseband processor board. Both boards are part of SDR, Spectrum's SDR4000 family and each one is a single width 3U compact PCI card. Each board is available in both conduction cooled and air cooled format so you can use it in the lab to develop your software and then migrate with the same hardware out to the uh, deployment including up to rugged environments. Um, you can do your complete RF to digital processing chain uh, from RF to Ethernet in two compact PCI 3U slots. Uh, so help, that helps you reduce your size, weight, and power for deployed systems. All the demos that you're going to see today are included as software examples with the RF4902 and the SDR4000, so you can rapidly take those examples and use them uh, as source code to develop your own applications and customize them to suit your requirements. The RF4902 is capable of operating with frequency hopping rates of up to 3,000 hops per second. For this demo, we're going to show it operating at 10 hops per second, just so you can see it a little bit e more easily on the Spectrum Analyzer screen. So we're going to take that signal, route it back into the receiver, and run a Spectrum analysis on the received and de-hop signal. Generated from the SDRAM on board the RF4902, and the signal itself is modulated with 512k bits per second of data. You can handle much wider bandwidths than that, but we're going to restrict the bandwidth here to 200k, uh, 200 kilohertz. So this can easily go much wider when you've got the bandwidth available. So we output the 0IF samples through the high-speed 16-bit dual DAC and send that to the R4902's uh, transmitter stage where we're going to hop the, sequ the uh, signal and output uh, the RF, which is hopping. We then route the signal to the spectrum analyzer where you can see the wideband hopping signal which is hopping in sequence so you can see that it's scanning here. And we're also going to send it to the uh, high speed scope where you can see that the signal is modulated with the 16 qam signal. Um, we're also looping the same signal back through the splitter here uh, through some attenuation back into the RF4902's receiver stage where it's de-hopped in the RF stage. It's digitized in the high-speed ADC. We send it through the FPGA. We put it through a digital down converter to baseband. We then send the baseband signals through the Pro4600 and Ethernet to the PC where we're running MATLAB to do some spectrum analysis on the uh, received signal. You can see that the signal here is de-hopped it's uh, scanning on the spectrum analyzer at RF, but it's stationary in frequency uh, for the signal that's come through the receiver and been de-hopped. Um, so the receiver, you can see from this that the receiver is hopping in synchronicity with the transmitter. Uh, the R4902 can also use GPS one pulse per second or, or IRIG B uh, to tell, tell it what time it is for hop synchronization uh, between the uh, transmitter and receiver that are in remote locations. So now we're running the same example except we've increased the hop rate uh, from 10 hops per second before to 1,000 hops per second. It's still hopping sequentially, but if you look at it on the spectrum analyzer, you can see it, it's, it looks like it's pretty random because the spectrum analyzer can't keep up with 1,000 hops per second. If I press the uh, uh, max hold button, you can see that it's actually seeing all the signals coming together uh, to form that, uh, that band there. But when you just run it uh, in the normal uh, spectrum analyzer mode, it's actually uh, not keeping up with the sequential hopping. Uh, you can see on the PC screen that it, the receiver is keeping up in synchrony with the uh, with the hopping. It's, uh, it's stationary in frequency. Uh, there are some artifacts here because the PC software is, is having a bit of a hard time keeping up with the hop rate of a thousand hops per second, but you can see that it's stationary on the screen. And then on the scope you can still see that it's modulated. We've got the uh, 16 qam modulated signal still present in the uh, 
uh, in the signal shown on the scope. So as you can see, the RF4902 can provide you with a frequency agile, wideband RF to digital solution in a small size, weight, and power package. It operates between 200 megahertz and 2.7 gigahertz, and it can do frequency hopping at up to 3,000 hops per second with a dwell to tune time ratio of over 10 to 1. The RF4902 is ideal for many SIGINT, COMET, and MILCOM applications. It uses real-time operating systems like VXWorks or Integrity, and the whole SDR4000 system into which the RF4902 is part, the system is capable to, of supporting SCA, the software communications environment, if your program requires that. Contact Spectrum today to find out how the RF4902 can help you build your solution.